here we are looking at another fascinating aspect of 3D ultrasound in which what we are trying to look at is we are trying to look at the another dimension of looking at the uterus that dimension of looking at the uterus is called the oblique view i'll be showing you how we use the oblique view and what are the benefits and in this you have a 2d image and in this you have a function called oblique view and in this what happens is i'll be tracing the uterus by selecting the cursor and on the right side of the screen you are seeing the change that is happening and then i'm able to select by selecting what exactly i want so once i finish that i can change the angle in different dimensions so that you also get many features like this there is another feature called the line function wherein you can take a section of the uterus like here i'm taking selecting it and taking a section you get some image then what i do is i can move this cursor here and then look at it at different points of interest here i am coming from the serous layer moving into the myometrial layer then what as i am moving it it i am coming to the uterine cavity and then i enter the uterine cavity where i can adjust the angle to get good information then i'm also seeing a small abnormal area here where it has any significance the other thing is i can rotate this cursor like this and then i can adjust this cursor and do a function called walk through in this as i walk through i look at the section of the uterus where you're seeing all these images i can adjust it and then look at it this way by doing this what happens is you also know at each different point if at this point i know whether there is any pathology here by looking here any pathology in the endometrium here and any myometrial pathology this i can also change the direction and rotate it 160 degrees like this to look at the extent of separation so essentially in this function you have two things a horizontal walk through and a vertical walk through this vertical walk through might in future replace the role of 3d and make this virtual hysteroscopy modality much more accurate with time this is the area of development which will come maybe in the next 6 months to 2 years depending on the application quality of the work that is being done by various manufacturers